welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm today we've got a few jobs to get done on the farm uh, first up we need to get our vines in fields one and five sprayed with their final dose of fertilizer so we're gonna hook that up to our antonio carrera tractor here uh we need to get the chickens fed um but we're out of money so we need to raise a bit of money as well uh so plan with that is to go and sell off a whole load of lettuce we need to be selling lettuce on a monthly basis anyway and um, we've got a good collection of it over there so yeah we're gonna be doing that and then we are, um, yeah, as I said, we're then going to feed the chicken. That should keep us fairly busy for today. If we can pick up and start off a contract for some silage, if, uh, yeah, a silage bale contract would be great. So if we can kick that off today as well, that would be brilliant. Um, but as it stands, we are probably not going to get to that today, I don't think. Uh, we're going around every row on here, getting these all done. I don't think we can control... No, we can't control this to only do one side. So, uh, yeah, we're going to spray both. We're going down every row. And we should end up with this field fully fertilized then. Can I get round here? Yeah, we're going to do every other row and then come back again. Uh, so this should... Uh, give us full fertilization on all of these rows and end up with uh, a fully fertilized set of vines, giving us the maximum boost to the yield on it. I really like how little fertilizer this actually uses. It means that we get a nice full tank in here. It does us for a good long while. And we we end up saving a quite a whack of money. I mean, it is really low usage that we have on here. Skipping a row. And bring it back down here. There we go. Uh, and yeah, we're getting the same sort of um, pattern as we had before. So you can see the streaks uh, the lines that we got down here. Uh, we're doing every other row as it is at the moment. And then we're going to go back over where we've been and uh, and do the other alternate rows. That will give us a full set of fertilization on here. And this will be the best crop of grapes that we've got off the farm so far. We do still have the issue that we've we've had with this tractor since the start on visibility. It is just yeah it's not that easy to see out of the back of this and uh i'm looking forward to getting a tractor that we can use on here that has a better set of visibility and will allow us to properly be able to see behind us but now uh, it's doing all right i mean it's nicely covered and works well so we are uh Doing pretty well with it. We are up to eight hours on this tractor. Oh, I think I've caught my back wheel. Yeah, I have. There we go. So we're up to eight, uh, nearly nine hours on this tractor. So it's been a very useful one to have on the farm. Um, but I uh, very much want to grab something new uh, in the form of a Kubota tractor. The one we had before would be so useful on here. And just to see whether that would be uh, more helpful for the jobs that we're doing. All right, bring this around. We've got one more row to do. I don't think we need to do the outer row, to be honest, normally. I uh, did at the start of here, and I'm not sure it is actually that required. Because, as you can see, we easily cover the vines from that last row. So let's turn around in here. And yeah, we have every other row to get on the way back. Because if we look here, that is now nicely filling in. We're down to 24% in our tank. <laughs> this really is not using this very fast at all. I'm uh, I'm very, very happy with its, uh, its rate of fertilizer usage. From three fields, we're going to get 
quite a lot of grapes off of here. And it's, uh, it is going to be really, really good. Want to check I'm in the right row, which I am. That's brilliant. And yeah, this field is going to be up to full fertilization by the end of this, which is even better. And uh, yeah, just nice to see that we're not having to get rid of this uh, bit of debt that we've got in order to get the grapes finished, ready for harvest. We obviously need to get rid of it in order to actually harvest them because we have no harvester at the moment. And looking at the shop, there's a, a Massey Ferguson in there for 30,000, which would be quite good, uh, possibly. But it's it's not really thin enough. And uh, yeah, everything else is sort of a fence and fence combine and a very large cedar, which would be completely useless to us, and a, uh, and a header trailer. So uh, yeah, not really useful stuff. That should be this field done, though. Yeah, there we go. So uh, nicely fertilized. We just need to head down and sort out field one now. This is the first field I did with grapes in it on this map. And it's still the one that I set up the best. It has plenty of grass area at either end that makes it very easy for us to turn any equipment round and, uh, and get at the vines really easily. It is just enough space to do it. And uh, yeah, the rows are nice and straight and it just works as a vineyard. I think the one that it has probably come out least well is the one in the cow pasture. Uh, it's not quite straight and does cause me issues every time I go to work it. Um, but it does have a lot of grapevines in there. I mean, between these these three fields, it's a really nice sized vineyard that we've uh, we've created on here. So uh, this year is due to be our best harvest so far, and we'll see where it ends up taking us. Now, as I said last time, I don't need to do that end row. So what we want to do is spin right round. Hopefully, not hit any of the vines. Get back in, and yep, we should be filling things in. Perfect. You get into a kind of rhythm doing this, where you, you know roughly where you need to turn, roughly where you need to end up, and uh, and it just starts coming a little bit naturally as to exactly how far you need to turn and, uh, and how far you need to come back. Activating and deactivating bits, it's just, yeah, it just works and and works very nicely. I mean, if I come out of here, uh, you can see that we are going be between rows that have tire tracks and just, yeah, filling in the gaps where we need to, keeping it out of the pond. And last row, uh, you do sometimes happen to catch a pole. If you're not careful right let's try and bring that back in see i don't cut my mistakes i uh i like to bring them in if i'm uh, if i'm doing bits like that because yeah we all make mistakes and we all clip a tire from time to time but that has got our field finished so uh, yeah, let's look in here. And so I've not fertilized the grass bits at the end. I have managed to fertilize all of my vines in the middle. Same on field five and uh, on our field down there, the cow meadow. So that is all good. And we're all set up. So let's go drop this off. And uh, I think we need to hook up the flatbed to the landy. Get that up the top and start loading up some lettuce. We also have four pallets of wool at the moment sitting in the sheep pen. So I'd like to try and get those delivered to our spinnery today if I can. Good that that is uh, nice and full. I should really stop production while I'm loading this up. It would cause me a lot fewer headaches in the long run. Right, let's line this up. 
it right at the top edge if we can because we've got a gap in these so we want to make sure we are as close to the end as possible happy with that right and yeah i think we will stop the production on these i just need to remember to uh turn it back on later so uh deactivate and deactivate so that while i'm loading these up we don't get any spawning in the way of us to load them up and then uh, i can get it restarted later and that should uh, help us all out I think the lettuce has been an integral part of our success here on this farm. Without it, we wouldn't have uh, made as much money or progressed as far as we have as quickly as we have. Uh, having said that, the contracts, the grass contracts we've done have also played a big part in that. And we're going to be doing those. Well, we're going to be taking on some of those, I think, next game day. We're looking to uh, to get some good money in before our grapes are ready to harvest we're looking at a harvest on those uh where are our grapes yeah next month so august we may start no sorry september we may start harvesting grapes so if we're lucky and uh i can pick it up we may get some uh normal harvesting so uh see if we can pick up a couple of harvesting contracts because uh, we could really do with those in August to try and get some grains in for our animals. I may have to get those selected at, a, at like midnight um, because of the issues that the ongoing issues that uh, I seem to be having with contracts in general in farm sim. Uh, we they, they disappear. So lots of contracts disappear at uh, sort of 6, 7 a.m which is when I tend to start my recordings for videos. And as a result, lots of good harvesting contracts and things get missed. So I think for some games, I'm going to have to start pre-selecting contracts before I start recording. And, uh, and I'll just cover what I've pre-selected and how I've done it uh, in the video. Otherwise, we are just not going to get the best contracts which is incredibly annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. If we can get some harvesting contract in August, uh, that would be great. And then, uh, yeah, build up as much cash as we can before we hit September and hit our harvest for our grapes uh, would just be grand. Would just make a massive difference. Maybe... If our contracts are as successful as we've had in previous years, we might even be able to buy a harvester. Especially if it turns up in the sales just before the uh, before the grapes are harvested. That would be perfect. Last double to come out of here. Our other greenhouse is finished from those. So, yeah, two... In fact, if you have a full set from two greenhouses here, it's enough to fill this trailer to be two stacks high, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. Very happy with that. Now, I've got... I think I've got my second row positioned ever so slightly wrong because uh, I am overlapping a little bit at the front. But... Oh, no. There we go. That sort of shimmied everything into place. So now I just need to get the singles that we got left uh, on to the back here. So just bring my forks in a little bit. Uh, down onto there. Uh, look at that. Perfect. Right. And on to here. So this should clear the negative money that we're in. Uh, should also give us enough cash to get some chicken feed as well. We need to buy a fair whack of chicken feed. I want to keep them going for a little while. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a, uh, a fair few uh, bags to do that. So that is all good. Um, and yeah, that is, uh, that is going to set us up fairly well for a while we probably need to get some more water into these we'll have a look at that in a moment too 
then we might need some more seeds in for both. We use twice as many seeds as we do fertilizer. So if I can work out how much seed we need to use in these to get the fertilizer finished off, that would be great. So into here. And yeah, so we need twice as much fertilizer as we have seeds. We have, uh, oh, hang on. Yep. Uh, so let's activate that and activate that. Uh, we need a thousand liters of fertilizer uh, of seeds in one and about a thousand liters of fertilizer in the other. So that is pretty perfect. Uh, we can get two bags of fertilizer as well and get that loaded into here. So I'm going to leave this here for now because we're going to want to load this up in a minute. For now, let's go and get this lettuce sold. And where's our best place for that? That is going to be the restaurant is where we're going today. So we'll tag that, find it with our sky beam, which is just there. And, uh, and head on over and get this sold. The restaurant is right next to the next production I want to purchase, which is the needle and stitch. Uh, that is where we're going to be taking fabric to in the near future. Are you still selling stuff from the front? Yeah, there we go. So uh, let's get this all sold, see how much we make. We're fairly close. 22,647 with a little bit more to keep the trailer in. Yeah, and a couple of bits at the back that have been missed too. So 20, another 2,900, 3,000 for that, plus another 32 on the back. How much is that in total that we've sold today? Sold products, 25,000. 613 off a trailer full of that. That is absolutely brilliant. So I am very, very happy with, uh, with the way the lettuce is going. That's actually enough money for us to hire a harvester for the grapes if we wanted. But uh, we're not going to go that way because we do need to head down to the shop now and go and grab some chicken feed and a couple of bags of seeds. Went a little bit of a long way round, but we're coming into the back entrance of the shop. Yeah, I think this is the back entrance of the shop up here. Right, and then we can park this just here, knowing that we're going to be trying to fill the trailer in a bit. And in actual fact, I don't have anything up here to load these bags with. So uh, I think we might have to do something about that as well. So first thing we need is a couple of thousand litre bags of seeds. This will finish off our greenhouses. It means that once these are done and we've got uh, the, and they've worked their way through, we'll have no fertilizer, no seed in there or at least negligible amounts. And we'll be able to then uh, go and, uh, and do uh, be able to then move our greenhouses and then we also need some chicken feed this is the expensive bit i am gonna get eight bags of this because we need a lot of chicken feed it's going to cost me eleven thousand two hundred. so uh buy that and then i need to do something about getting this all loaded up because uh we got rid of our other bits so uh let's let's see how much it would hire uh it would cost to hire although okay people have said to me that you really at the shop should have its own load thing so we've had it multiple times i'm gonna add that in and uh and we'll uh we'll sort that out uh and get and get things loaded once we've got that added in so now with that added in we can head up here and i Felt it was only right that uh, we should get a nice new Kubota one for the shop up here. So uh, that's what they're running. Is uh, a nice Kubota front loader. 
And we can uh, we can have that sitting up here. I have put a the license plate does say shop only on here so that I don't end up using it for something else. Uh, it is owned by the shop. Uh, I probably could have made it shop only uh, instead of shop only. I could have gone with shop owned. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's a pretty good way to go with this. So let's load this onto here. And uh, once these are all loaded up, we'll head back down to the farm and get the rest of it sorted. This is really stable, though. What a cracking front loader. Final bag to load up. We'll grab this one of seeds and plonk it on the back bit over here. Yeah, this is a really, really stable front loader. I am uh, I'm very pleased with it. I think that... Uh, it would work really, really well, this, uh, with the double bag loader. We could have done this job a little bit quicker had the shop had that. We've, we've only bought this version for the shop. Um, and, yeah, this is not worth anything towards us. This this is completely owned by the shop. So I think it's uh, it's one of those things where people have said to me multiple times, yes, there should be something at the shop to load stuff up. It shouldn't be owned by your farm and it, it should just be something you can use so yeah i like that i think that's the way we'll go with that going forwards we really need to wash this landy but first we can now get some feed into our chickens and uh get the final set of seeds into our greenhouses first up though is feeding our chickens we'll park this here I actually left. <laughs> I actually left the forklift up here. Okay, grabbed that. So now well, we should be able to take this off two at a time. As I said before, the visibility on this tele truck is brilliant. Uh, allows us to see so much. And it, uh, it's really good at being able to pick up multiple heavy items as well. Whether I can pick up four bags of chicken feed with this, I don't know. We're going to give it a go, though. I want to adjust those out a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Right. So, we are all the way in. That is four full bags. Oh, wow. Look at the front of that. That is just really sinking in. But look at it. That's just brilliant. It's not happy, but... Oh, no, that's really not happy. Okay. Yeah, that is pushing it a bit too far. That's okay. We'll just take these two, and uh, then we can come back for the others. Because, yeah, it's even not happy about this. That is quite a lot of weight down the front. But it will make it there, and we will be able to empty this. So, round we go and in and then i think we have to lift it up a little bit yeah and the chicken feed goes in first one loaded in we're just gonna grab the second but before i go any further i want to see how much of our chickens feed that sorted okay so i think that that has done not quite a quarter maybe a fifth so i think they take uh, 10,000 liters uh, of feed to these chickens. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a difficult one to get unless we get from several contracts. We get 10,000 liters. It is gonna be difficult to keep the chickens fed uh, without spending a lot of money like we are at the moment. Last set of bags. And yeah, all I can see at the moment is organic chicken feed. Let's bring it round. Oh, this is not happy with this much weight on the front. But it is handling it. We're not rocking forwards, which is great. Uh, look at the way those bags shrink. And the way the weight reduces as you are putting feed like this in. There we go. Chickens are all fed and should now be fairly happy. Oh, in actual fact, no. Eight bags is perfect. 
That is just enough to fill the chickens. That will keep them going for a while. That will get their health back up and their productivity back up. Should be absolutely brilliant. So all we need to do now is get these two bags off and take them up to the top and get our two greenhouses back up to full whack and uh yeah get their last set of uh seeds and fertilizer in before uh before the big move which is um gonna be probably after this year's grape harvest uh, moving it down here and trying then to prepare that top area uh, for replanting and expanding up there next spring so what i'm gonna do is just drop one of these here don't want to get too close because i don't want to start emptying seeds in uh pick up the other one and then we'll put a thousand liters of seeds into each and that will sort it all so unload that into there perfect and yeah then we want to unload the other thousand liters into the other one and that will just keep them going and i might just go and top up their water while we're at it water doesn't cost us anything so uh worth keeping it going and uh and keeping it topped up so i'll probably do a couple of runs of water but otherwise i think we're fairly good for today uh not bad at half past four so uh chickens are looking good sheep are looking good and our production here yeah we've got 64 water to every six and three of that so yeah we'll need to keep the water topped up in these two how is our fabric doing we have 836 liters of fabric in there i reckon we've got at least a couple of uh sets of pallets of fabric sitting outside as well which will be great uh so we want to get that sorted soon all in all though i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that the only thing i think left to do is to have a quick look and see what we have in the way of contracts is there anything we can pick up ready for next day so uh we've got a couple of cultivating contracts we're not going to touch those uh we have a lot of bailing contracts though and i want to really grab three bailing contracts that are for silage bales so that's hay that silage so we can grab that and actually that one has the nice big equipment for it uh so let's have a look and see what else we got what's this one in field 48 that is also the same so uh, i reckon 38 and 48 are two good choices and 43 that is wrapping for silage as well uh that is slightly smaller equipment 491 for renting the equipment on that 508 slight difference between them but this comes with the nice big mower so we will borrow the items for that contract we will also grab this contract so we'll accept that one and we will accept the silage contract yep i think that's the next biggest silage contract Yes, it is, uh, because the silage bales will pay more, which is why we want it. So we'll accept that contract as well. And that means that next time we will be hitting the silage hard and trying to make as much money as we can from that. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye